Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, coming at you from the Nerd Cave with a brand new video that happened completely by accident. So let's go ahead and rewind about two days ago. I'm perusing through Twitter and I noticed another YouTuber that goes by Epos Vox posts a little video of him holding a vacuum cleaner next to his head while talking into a microphone. Here's a vacuum. The vacuum is running. The vacuum is running, the vacuum is running, the vacuum is running, the vacuum is running. And I don't really understand what's going on because I can hear him just fine and I don't hear the vacuum. So I'm like, why is he holding a vacuum next to his head and it's not turned on? It turns out it was turned on. So this of course piqued my interest because I've tried to use many different plugins, noise suppressors, noise floors, noise ceilings, compressors, limiters, all those plugins, including some VST plugins for OBS Studio. And even though I can improve the sound quality, I've never been successful in completely pulling out the background noise while only serving my voice without losing a ton of fidelity. So of course I looked into it a little further and Epos Vox was using a program called RTX Voice, which is an early beta that was just released this month from Nvidia. And the entire program is pretty much just a bare bones audio driver with a lot of AI intelligent processing behind it that figures out how to use a learning model to remove background noise from your voice well, doing minimal damage to your actual voice itself. And it can do some pretty amazing things as you're gonna find out watching this video. So make sure you watch it to the end because we're gonna be doing some crazy demos that you guys probably won't believe. You guys are literally gonna think I'm doing this in post. All right, so currently I have it uninstalled on my system because I'd like to take you through the process of actually installing it and show you how to get it to work on the older unsupported cards. You guys will notice I have a giant yellow mouse cursor. If you'd like to see how I did that, it's a tech tip that I posted to my Twitter. So make sure you're following me at Barnacles. Now you can see up here, I've already downloaded the program. It's NVIDIA RTX Voice V0.5.12.6. You can obviously see that it's a very early beta. But you can also go to the website to download it, which is just video.com forward slash NUSG force guides, video dash RTX dash voice dash setup dash guide. Or better yet, just look in the video description. All right, so once you get to this, you can actually scroll all the way down to download the app. Click download the app. Now you'll notice I already have this version number downloaded, but if there is a newer version, go ahead and grab the newest version. And also make sure you have the latest NVIDIA drivers for your graphics card installed. All right, so once you have the program, let's go ahead and run it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and read the terms of service. Agree and continue. It's installing the driver. Now you'll notice it installs two different things. It installs the voice application, which is your interface for playing around and farting with it, and the voice driver. Now this is an actual driver that it installs on your box that emulates a sound card. So in all your programs that you use, you can select this as a standalone audio device, both the input and the output. All right, starting up the application. And this is it, it's very bare metal. You notice you don't have a lot of options. All you have is input device and output device. And this is basically to select which audio channel it's gonna be pulling the audio from, which we want to be my microphone, and which channel you might wanna apply the effect to that's going out to the speakers or out to some other recording device. Because it turns out you can use this on both. So in this case, I wanna use my microphone which is my Yamaha mixer. Down here, my output device, same thing, my Yamaha mixer. And I'm just gonna leave that as is. You notice nothing has been enabled yet. So I wanna show you guys something here really quick. And again, I can't hear any of this through my ears right now. I'm not wearing headphones. I'm not monitoring the audio source because I want you guys to actually hear this as natural sound coming through the video without me going through and doctoring it and get the best takes and everything like that. I want you guys just to experience what I experienced when I used this on my live stream two days ago. All right, so let's start off with just a little simple demo, shall we? So I'm gonna go ahead and click remove background noise from my microphone. This is gonna enable the driver. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull over OBS so that you guys can see it here. This is, it's gonna be like a mirror effect, woo! So you can see this is where I'm recording. Now I'm gonna go into OBS and I'm gonna go down to properties for my microphone. And you'll see that it's MG10XU. So you guys are just hearing my regular microphone. Now when I drop this down, you'll see there is a new device called Microphone NVIDIA RTX Voice. Now, when I select this, it's gonna pick the new driver. So it'll still be recording through my microphone, but it's gonna be pushed through this driver and you're gonna get the effect. Now watch what happens. I'm gonna select this and click okay. All right, you guys should still be able to hear me. Now you guys probably already notice that you can't hear my air conditioner in the background anymore. Uh, here, I'll even bang on my desk. Do you guys hear me banging on my desk right now? Okay, hold on here. I wanna show you guys this. So I'm banging on my desk. You can see the camera moving while I'm talking. I'm even gonna tap the microphone as I'm talking. I'm gonna take my fan here and I'm gonna put it up to the microphone as I'm talking. And you've got all these different sounds going on. And you'll notice I didn't have to configure anything but just move a slider up. So here, let me show you guys the slider here. 
You can move it to different percentages. So that's no no sound, no noise suppression. And then you can bring it up little by little. So this is, it actually doesn't take that much noise suppression. But now when I bang on the desk, you can hear a little bit of it, but it's not super loud. See, so that's the only control you have. So you don't have to come in here and do anything super complex, which I quite like. Whereas in a normal filter, you have to do a ton of stuff. All right, so now that we have the suppression effect enabled, let's put it through the real test. Let me show you guys something that I did in my live stream two days ago. And one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because it went completely viral. Somebody took a clip from my live stream and posted it on Twitter and it got like 1.7 million views. While I'm talking to you guys, I can bang on the desk and have a fan blowing at the microphone and my face. Okay, this this is this is genuinely the coolest I've ever seen. All right, there, I just disabled the filter. This is what it sounds like right now. Now, can you guys hear that banging? Now watch, I'm gonna turn on the feature, give it a sec. Now it's enabled. Can you guys still hear the banging on the desk while I'm talking or does my voice actually sound pretty good? Now, this is a low thud, and it's actually in my vocal range. So the fact that you guys can hear me at all, and I, again, I'm not monitoring. Maybe this sounds really, really bad, but I'm going to keep it in the video because I want you guys to hear what this actually sounds like. But now I can sit here and talk with somebody just banging on the side of my house. Here, let's even up the ante a little bit. Let's get something bigger. How about a dead blow hammer? Can you guys can you guys hear that while I'm talking? So this is a dead blow hammer now banging on my desk while I'm talking in the microphone. It's actually really, really loud. Let me show you what it sounds like when I turn off the feature. So turn it off. Wait. Okay, there. So this is what it sounds like right now. Now I'm going to enable it. Wait for it. And now it's enabled. So now you, you do get a little bit of a delay with my lips when I tested it on the live stream. But again, you can correct that. And I'm banging on the desk and this is really freaking loud. Okay. You just barely hear the hammer if at all. It's constantly learning. This is a leaf blower. I use it during my live streams uh, to distribute smoke and light. And I, do, I have a light and smoke show that I used to do. I'm going to be bringing that back for the Twitch show. Um, and I control this with DMX and a bunch of programming. But listen how loud this is. Rip headphone users. Okay. So I can't even hear myself talk right now. Just to let you guys know, it's so loud. I can't even hear my own words as I'm yelling into the microphone. I'm going to enable the effect. Wait for it. So now the effect is enabled right now. I can't even hear myself. Even if my audio quality sucks, the fact that you guys can hear what I'm saying when I can't even hear myself is pretty damn amazing. And I honestly don't even know how that's freaking possible. This is a leaf blower. I can move it around in the environment. My voice will get better as it gets further away because it can filter it out easier. But you'll notice even when I get it really close, you guys can still hear me and it's still filtering it out. Isn't that pretty damn impressive? Look, I can even take the hammer. I'm banging the hammer and running the air, the, the blower at the same time. Super loud, annoying my neighbors, my wife downstairs. This is friggin' amazing. It's not perfect, but it's amazing. Let me show you guys what it sounds like without it turned on. There it is, the effects disabled. This is what it sounds like without NVIDIA RTX voice. Uh, banging on the desk, typing on the keyboard. You'll hear some of the typing. But now if I'm typing on a mechanical keyboard, you're not going to hear it nearly as much. It's actually really well filtered out. I can also disable the feature so you guys can see this is what it would normally sound like if I was gaming with my mechanical keyboard. And I love this. This is my Kinesis Gaming Freestyle Edge. I love this keyboard, by the way. Link in the video description if you want to get one of these. It's honestly the only split keyboard I've used for like two years. Turn on the suppression and it'll come in right here in a second and boom. Now the suppression's enabled and you still get my voice and it pulls out a lot of that typing sound, a lot of that banging sound. It also filters out noises from phones, like getting messages and stuff like that and dings and dongs and all kinds of stuff. What I'm gonna do now is turn everything I can on, okay? So let's see, so I'm gonna have a leaf, I'm gonna have a fan. Let me turn on my fan here. I'm gonna turn on the leaf blower, okay? And a Dyson vacuum. All right, so I got a leaf blower, a Dyson vacuum, and a fan on the floor. I'm gonna enable the effect right now so you guys can see what it does. Okay, the effect is enabling. Okay, right now, this is RTX voice enabled. Well, I've got this running right here. I got a leaf blower, I got a vacuum cleaner, I got a Vornado fan, and an air conditioner in the background. And I'm even gonna try talking normally like this. Can you guys hear my voice when I speak at a normal level? This is something I didn't try during the live stream. Look how close I have these things to this. If you guys can hear me at all, this is amazing. And that noise floor is actually pretty low. And over time, it's going to learn. They're going to train this better and better and better. And the more information it gets, the better it's going to get. Now, just to remind you of how bad it was before I enabled the filter. This is what it sounds like with everything running in the room right now. 
Here, let's add the hammer too for good measure. Let's just go full tilt. There, now we got the hammer, we got a leaf blower, we got a freaking vacuum cleaner and a Vornado fan. This is really cool. It's not perfect, but it's freaking cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. Again, this is what it sounds like without the filter. Let me turn all this stuff off. Oh my gosh. All right, turn this fan off. I mean, these are incredible extremes. Like nobody would ever expect to live stream in that environment. But imagine if you were, imagine if you were live streaming at a convention or at a land party or something like that. This is, this is an absolute game changer, guys. All right, for those of you that do not have RTX cards that would like to give this a try, there is a hack to do this in the beta. You have to edit a file, but it's a protected file. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Just hold down Control Shift Escape or open up Task Manager, however you're comfortable with and go to File, run new task. Now this little box is gonna pop up. You're gonna have a checkbox here that says, create this new task with administrative privileges. This is critically important. If you don't do this, it won't save. Go ahead and type in notepad and press enter. Now you have notepad here running at administrative level privileges. Now we're gonna open up the file that we wanna edit. Now it's gonna create a folder on your system after setup fails called C colon backslash temp NV RTX voice NVAFX. This is the folder that you wanna be in right here. Once you're inside of this folder, you're gonna notice there's no files you can click on. So come down here where it says text document, change it to all files, and you're gonna to wanna to edit this RTX voice NVI file. It's an NVI file. Double click on that, and now you're gonna be open inside of the file. What you wanna do is scroll down until you find a section called constraints. So there's dependencies, there we go. So there's constraints. What you're gonna to wanna to do is highlight this entire constraints part and everything that's inside of it, and you're simply gonna hit delete, and that's gonna remove it. Now what you're gonna do is go to file, save, now, if it gives you an error, that means that you didn't click the administrative privileges box, but now it's saved. So go ahead and exit out of there and then just rerun the install program. Now, after making that change, you should notice that you will now pass the system check and you'll be able to install it on your down level cards. Please come over and tweet me at Barnacles on Twitter and let me know if this was successful for you or if it wasn't. And be sure to check the video description for additional updates. Well, guys, it's appeared we're nearing the end of the video and this is the final clip that I'm shooting before I put it into the fully edited sequence in Adobe Premiere and upload it to YouTube for you all to enjoy. I just wanted to take these last few moments to thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you've done for me with all the views, all the subs, all the the live stream visits, all my patrons, all the people that just get me all pumped up on the social media. Every single one of you plays a crucial role in keeping me motivated down this path. I know I've been away from YouTube for a long time making proper content, but this tiny little clip taken from a live stream that has completely gone viral across the internet leading to the creation of this video was the nudge that I really needed. And it really got me to remember how much I enjoy the process of shooting video and editing it and telling a story. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. It'd mean a lot to me. And to be honest, we're only about 60,000 subscribers away from hitting 1 million. And to be honest, that was a big scary number for me more than a couple of times throughout my YouTube career where I came close and I backed off and I came close and I backed off. I'm not gonna blink this time. Let's do it. Let's hit a million. I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything. God, I wanna kiss your face right now. I don't know, is that a violation of TOS? I'm such a dork. <laughs>